Hello, and thank you for standing by for JD.com's second quarter and interim 2023 earnings conference call. At this time, all participants are in listen-only mode. After management's prepared remarks, there will be a question and answer session. Today's conference is being recorded. If you have any objections, you may disconnect at this time. I would now like to turn the meeting over to your host for today's conference, Sean Jung, Director of Investor Relations. Please go ahead. Thank you, Drew. Good day, everyone. Welcome to JD.com's second quarter and interim 2023 earnings conference call. For today's call, CEO of JD.com, Ms. Sandy Xu, will kick off with opening remarks. Our CFO, Mr. Yan Shan, will discuss the financial results. After that, we'll open the call to questions from analysts. Let me quickly cover the safe harbor. Please be reminded that during this call, our comments and responses to your questions reflect management's view uh, as of today only, and will include forward-looking statements. And please refer to our latest safe harbor statement in earnings press release on our IR website, which, ap- <coughs> which applies to this call. We'll discuss certain non-GAAP financial measures. Please also refer to the reconciliation of non-GAAP measures to the comparable GAAP measures in the earnings press release. Also, please note all figures mentioned in this call are in RMB, otherwise, uh, unless otherwise stated. Now, let me turn the call over to our CEO, Ms. Sandy Xu. Thanks, Sean. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us today to discuss our Q2 results. Q2 was a productive quarter for JD. We delivered a solid performance with both top-line and bottom-line results, exceeding our expectations. More importantly, during the quarter, we effectively executed our business and organizational development, further improved our supply chain capabilities, and achieved many operational and financial milestones while navigating a challenging industry environment. We are encouraged by the progress we are making on these priorities, and I want to share some of the details with you. Let me start by reiterating JD's operating philosophy since our inception, which is to relentlessly strive for lower cost, higher efficiency, and superior customer experience. This is at the heart of everything we do and it primarily consists of two critical elements, namely customer experience and supply chain capabilities. First, on customer experience, we always focus on providing best-in-class customer experience and continue to find ways to improve selection, speed, quality, and value in Chinese store-quite house, particularly Since the beginning of this year, we have gone extra miles to improve our selection and value, while our quality and speed continue to lead the industry. On selection, we are taking solid steps to improve our platform ecosystem, which in JD's case means the prosperous coexistence of both our 1P and third-party marketplace businesses. Our platform ecosystem strategy is guided by our goal to continuously improve customer experience, and both 1P and 3P models are means to this end. It was an exciting quarter for our third-party marketplace business. We feel that we are only at the early stage of realizing JD's marketplace business potential but we were encouraged to see the number of 3P merchants more than double year-on-year and set an all-time record in Q2. As we improve our tools and traffic allocation mechanism to build a fire and effective operating environment. With the improving operating environment, more 3P merchants brought a broad selection of products to our customers driving 3P Marketplace GMV growth to accelerate over the last two consecutive quarters. Moreover, we have seen two consecutive quarters of double-digit 3P revenue growth, mainly driven by robust growth of advertising revenues 
a small CP merchants allocate ad budget to JD's platform. On value, since the beginning of the year, we have launched new initiatives to enhance our reputation for providing value to users. Sometimes I hear people make the argument that JD's pursuit of low prices will inevitably impact user experience and our profitability. We know this argument is incorrect. Value means providing both low price and extra value or services for the many customers pay. And not surprisingly, JD's supply chain capability is the key to delivering this. With lower cost and higher efficiency generated through our supply chain, we are able to provide more value and extra service to our customers. Take our 10 billion discount program as an example. As we continue to enrich its value for many selections of 3P merchandises, which is resonating with our customers. 3P GMV contribution with this program has gradually increased to over 50% in July. Also, with this program moving ahead, we were still able to maintain a healthy bottom line in Q2, which Ian will elaborate shortly. This is a strong proof of how we leveraged our supply chain and managed our business effectively to serve our users better. Another proof is that our core categories, including 3C and home appliances, continued to benefit from our robust supply chain capabilities, which enable us to provide steady supply at low prices and high quality services at the same time. As a result, we further gained market share in these core categories in the quarter. During the quarter, we observed strong user engagement trends, including higher purchase frequency and our pool on our app. In particular, the number of repeat customers continued to grow by double digits, while the average GMV per user increased by high single digits. The number of JD Plus members continued to grow over 20% year over year and reached 36 million in Q2. All these are strong testaments that on top of our speed and quality. User recognition of our improved selection and value gets stronger as our supply chain capabilities continue to serve as the bedrock of our resilient business performance. In the last two quarters this year, we have been head down executing our strategic priorities, including our platform ecosystem and enhancing our customer experience with superior selection, speed, quality, and value. As we have talked a lot about our business development today, now, I'd like to share some color on the progress of our organizational restructuring. We launched this initiative in Q2, in which we focused to flatten our management structure and delegate greater decision-making power to the operational units that are closer to users. Our goal is to improve organizational efficiency and incentivize entrepreneurship even at the frontline level. So far, the restructuring is progressing as expected. We've completed reassigning responsibilities and citing KPIs for each of the operational units and are now in the process of checking and assessing execution as well as further streamlining the nodes in operation and iterating our business supporting systems. The restructuring evolves a lot of efforts, and it takes time to bring its effectiveness into full play. But we've seen that under the new structure, our operational units are more incentivized 
and showcase enhanced professionalism and executive capabilities. It's really encouraging to see our decisions and efforts start to pay off and yield early positive results. As DD continues to execute these strategies, from a long-term perspective, we are more confident that than ever in our ability to deliver healthy and sustainable growth and continue to seize new opportunities to innovate and drive our business growth going forward. At our 20th anniversary this June 18th, we introduced our ambitious 35711 vision. The vision includes our goals in the next 20 years of establishing three enterprises with over 1 trillion RMB in revenues and 7 billion RMB in net profits. Having five JD subsidiaries rank on the Fortune Global 500 list and seven publicly listed companies with over 100 billion RMB market cap while contributing 100 billion RMB in taxes and creating over 1 million jobs as a group. This is a vision that outlines both the path for sustained growth for the next 20 years and our commitment to positive social impact. It also highlights our unshakable confidence in and commitment to China's long-term economic development. As we look ahead to the second half of the year and the future, we are focused on the healthy growth of our business and investing in exciting new opportunities. Driven by our unchanged long-term strategies that center around cost, efficiency, and customer experience, and a deeper sense of mission, we believe we are well positioned to create long-term value for our users, business partners, shareholders, and the society at large. With that, I'll turn it over to Ian for our financial highlights. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Hello, everyone. Well, happy to report that JD delivered both revenues and profitability ahead of our expectations. We continue to execute our proactive business development and made solid progress across several of our priorities, including building a robust marketplace ecosystem, enhancing user mindshare on our value propositions of selection, speed, quality, and value, and delivering healthy profitability. Such results validate our strategic focus, and we're confident in the underlying strength of our business momentum. With that, let's turn to our financial results in Q2. <laughs> our net revenues grew by 8% year on year to RMB 288 billion in Q2. Breaking down the revenue mix, product revenues were up 3% year on year in Q2. By category, electronics and home appliances revenues grew by a remarkable 11% year on year in Q2. Mainly driven by the strong growth of home appliance and mobile phones, both of which have outpaced the industry growth during the quarter. Our further reinforced market leadership in these categories showed our strong user mindshare, robust supply chain capabilities, and industry leading service quality, which are all key differentiators for JD. General merchandise revenues were down 9% year on year in Q2, primarily due to the soft performance of our supermarket category, which was partially impacted by the relatively high base in the same period last year due to COVID. That said, I would like to reiterate our confidence in supermarkets' future performance as its operating efficiency has improved significantly with a healthier product mix. Service revenues grew by 30% year on year in Q2, of which marketplace and marketing revenues were up 9% year on year. 
I would like to highlight that revenues generated by third-party merchants grew faster than 1P in the quarter, driven by 3P advertising revenues. As we roll out more supportive measures for merchants, we saw notable acceleration in merchant-based expansion in the quarter. It's also encouraging to see that our traffic conversion rate had a meaningful improvement that indicates our traffic allocation algorithm is driving co-development of our 1P and 3P business effectively. Turning back to our service revenues, logistics and other service revenues grew by 52% year-on-year in Q2, excluding impact from Depon's consolidation. Organic growth of logistics and other service revenues was 12% year-on-year. Now, let's turn to our segment performance. JD retail revenues grew 5% year-on-year in the quarter as we continue to fine-tune our operations that focus on improving efficiency and building core capabilities since Q4 last year. Regarding JD Retail's profitability, gross margin continued to expand year-on-year in Q2. Our proactive efforts have clearly driven higher operating efficiency of our supply chain, even as we took firm steps to address value on our platform. JD Retail's non-gap operating margin came in at 3.2%, slightly declined compared to Q2 last year as we made proactive efforts to invest in user experience, which has already started to show in the improvement of our user engagement. The slight year-on-year operating margin decline was also partially due to an abnormally high margin in Q2 last year on the COVID impact, when we aggressively cut back operating expenses, including marketing spending. We maintain our goal to drive sustainable growth and improve profitability of our core retail business in the long term. In terms of users, as we continue to expand supplies and address value on our platform, JD Retail saw a year-on-year increase in user shopping frequency and retention in Q2, which led to a higher average GMV per user in the quarter. This was also partially contributed by the expansion of our core user base. Overall, we're happy with strong user quality metrics, which is a result of our focus on user quality and user experience. JD Logistics saw a 31% revenue growth year-on-year in Q2, excluding the impact of consolidation of the depot. The growth rate was 5% thanks to the resilient growth from external customers in Q2. Revenues from external customers reached 69% of JD Logistics revenue. In terms of profitability, JDL's non-gap operating margin was 1.2% in the quarter, a jump of 113 bits from a year ago primarily driven by its optimized business structure and customer mix, and better economies of scale and business expansion. Data reported revenue of RMB 2.8 billion and non-gap operating loss of RMB 29 million for the quarter, a substantial improvement compared to a year ago, primarily driven by better operating efficiency and economies of scale. Intracity on demand retail business remains an important pillar in our strategic positioning. And we're encouraged to see that Daojia and ShopNow have expanded to cooperate with 300,000 offline stores and are providing on-demand retail services in more than 2,000 counties, districts, and cities. Revenues from new business come down to RMB 4.3 billion in Q2, as we further scale back Jinxi and international business on a year-on-year basis, while JD Property maintained its robust growth momentum. 
New business saw a turnaround of profitability and recorded an operating profit of RMB 1.1 billion, primarily due to the gain from the third core fund closing of GDP in Q2, as well as the narrowing losses from Jinti and international business, both of which were minimal for the quarter. Moving to the consolidated bottom line, we recorded RMB 8.6 billion non-GAAP net income attributable to ordinary shareholders in Q2, up 32% year over year. Non-GAAP net margin reached 3%, up 55 bits from a year ago, which set a new record for our June promotion quarters. Finally, our last 12 months free cash flow as of June 30th was RMB 33 billion, increased by 21% on a year-on-year basis. This was mainly driven by our improved profitability, which led to a higher operating cash flow, as well as further optimized cash conversion cycle. To conclude my remarks, as we continue to improve our operations, we saw multiple encouraging trends in Q2. We are confident that we will emerge stronger with a healthy and sustainable business structure and enhanced core capabilities to unlock our growth potential. With that, I will turn it over to Sean. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Um, for the Q&A session, you are welcome to ask questions in English or Chinese. And our management will answer your question in the language you ask. We'll provide English translation when necessary for convenience purpose only. In the case of any discrepancy, please refer to our management statements in the original language. Operator, we can open a call for Q&A. Thank you. The question and answer session of this conference call will start in a moment. In order to be fair to all callers who wish to ask a question, we will take one question at a time from each caller. If you wish to ask a question, please press star then one on your telephone and wait for your name to be announced. If you wish to cancel your request, please press star then two. If you are on a speakerphone, please pick up the handset to ask your question. If you have more than one question, please request to join the question queue again after your first question has been addressed. The first question comes from Ronald Kung with Goldman Sachs. Please go ahead. Hey, thank you, Andy, Ian, and Sean. 管理层自己的预期然后也看到这个带电产品增速非常好 uh, congratulations on the second quarter uh, growth performance. I exceeded management's uh, own expectations with uh, electronics appliance uh, being strong and uh, faster 3P growth versus 1P. I uh, just want to hear management's view on the performance by categories in the second quarter and the outlook for these with your business restructuring, any KPIs that you're tracking, and the outlook just for overall growth into the second half uh, taking into the account of macro and the business restructuring. Thank you. Hao 
。那么在整体二季度消费承压的环境下，大家也可以看到，其实我们的消费模式其实还是韧性非常强的。那通过我们不断加强的供应链能力，那在整个大促的季节也保证了我们高品质的商品的货源可以更稳定，啊、呃，价格也更有竞争力，同时服务呢也更有保障。那这些呢都带动了我们的核心优势品类，啊、呃，特别是带电品类持续的获取市场份额。那大家其实也看到，这个整个二季度受到整个房地产行业和耐用品消费相对偏弱的双重压力，其实整个，呃，这个行业里面的家电行业大盘其实是压力比较大的。但是京东的家电品类其实表现是明显好于行业，呃，我们的市场份额还在进一步扩大。其实这个就得益于我们长期建立的。呃，强大的用户心智，完善的全国的服务网络和服务能力，以及我们多年打造的供应链的能力优势。嗯、um, ，Thank you, Ronald, for your question. Despite challenges in the macroeconomic and consumption landscape during Q2, we have remained dedicated to solidifying user mindshare towards our price competitiveness, fostering an open platform ecosystem, and moving forward with our efforts. To further optimize business structure, the outcomes achieved thus far have surpassed our expectations. JD's business model has shown remarkable resilience in the face of the ongoing consumption environment. By constantly enhancing supply chain capabilities, we have ensured a more reliable product supply at lower cost and high quality services during the promotional season. Resulting in further market share expansion in our more advantageous categories. So, for instance, as the retail estate market and demand of durable goods are still recovering, the overall home appliances market has faced pressure. However, JD's home appliances business meaningfully outperformed the industry and continues to gain market share. We attribute this achievement. To JD's strong user might share and match the shopping experience we provide and the competent supply chain that we have been diligently built over the years. 对，此外，我们的三，尤其是手机品类，其实也得益于本身的供应链能力、低价心智的加强，还有我们以优换新等服务带来了更好的购物体验，以及之前在欧洲欧领域的积极的布局。所以，京东手机在二季度的增速也达到了双位数，也是好于行业的整体表现的。And、uh, furthermore, our three C categories showcased a strong performance. This can be attributed to our robust supply chain capabilities, competitive pricing, and a deep user mindshare, exceptional shopping experience, including convenient trade-in services, and our active development in the O2O market. Notably, our sales of mobile phones achieved a double-digit growth growth rate in Q2, surpassing the industry level. 对，刚刚在 opening remarks 里面我也提到，就是今年我们开放生态的建设取得了很不错的进展。那商家规模和商品的供给啊、呃、有非常快速的扩张，第三方商家的 GMV 也在过去两个季度一直在加速增长。同时，今年以来，虽然我们为第三方商家提供了。这个包括嗯，这个降低平台使用费、降低商家扣点等等多种支持政策。那我们 CP 的 revenue 增速在今年前两个季度其实依然快于我们的自营业务，而且保持在了双位数的区间。So as I just mentioned in my opening remark, it is worth um, um, highlighting that we have made significant progress in the development of an open platform ecosystem this year. With both merchant base and product supply expanding at a faster pace, a growth of 3P GMV has also accelerated over the past two quarters. Moreover,、uh, since the start of the year, despite we have introduced a, a, a series of supporting policies for our new merchants, such as lowering platform service fees and take rates,、uh, our th-、uh, 3P revenue growth rate continued to outpace that of 1P in the first two quarters, remaining a double-digit range. 对，当然我们有需要继续去提升和完善的品类和业务，尤其是商超在二季度，大家也看到仍然面对业务和商业商品结构的调整，啊，以及我们疫情结束后消费回归线下，以及去年。
这个疫情存货、高基数等等的挑战，使得我们短期的增速呢还是遇到了一些挑战。啊，但是包括商超在内的日百品类的 POP 商家和商品数量啊，也在不断丰富。我们也在这方面呢，持续强化我们自营的供应链能力以及优化履约。我们相信，通过我们的战略落地、组织架构调整的效果，逐步体现出来。下半年商超业绩将回到更加健康的增长势头上。长期来看，我们坚信商超、日百品类仍然是京东最重要的增长驱动力。Uh, certainly, there are other categories that require continued efforts and improvement. For example, the supermarket category's growth momentum is impacted by the category mix optimization and also the resurgence of the offline consumption after the COVID and a high comparison base from the previous year. However, we have witnessed a significant increase in the number of third-party merchants and product offerings in the general merchandise categories on our platform, including the supermarket category. We are also continuing to strengthen our supply chain capabilities and optimize fulfillment. Our strategic execution and organizational restructuring efforts are gradually yielding results, providing momentum for healthier growth in the supermarket category for the second half of the year. For long-term perspective, we firmly believe that our uh, supermarket category holds immense potential as a key driver for the growth of JD.com. Okay, uh, Ronald, 回答你下一个问题。Uh, 那关于 strategy 上面，在推进低价新制时。我们更关注这个用户的表现。那 Q2 我们看到用户的指标是向好的，那其中核心用户的 R2 以及用户规模占比都在继续提升。那说明我们一系列关注用户体验的动作，说我们获得了更多呃核心用户的认可和钱包份额。嗯哼。So Ronald, to um answer your second question from Ethan, um our primary focus is um on our user performance. As we promote the strategy for price competitiveness, in Q2 we saw improving user engagement trends. Especially, both Apple and the scale of our core user base continued to grow. These trends indicate that our efforts to enhance user experience have been successful in earning greater recognition among them as well as their wallet share. 那以市场关注的百亿补贴为例子，那 Q2 我们看到百补对用户的购物频次，呃，跨品类的购物都有积极的带动。那同时对新用户，特别是低频用户的激活，呃，有比较大的拉伸作用。Uh, take the 10 billion yuan uh, subsidy program, for example. The program has been effective in boosting shopping frequency and cross-category purchases on the platform. And also the platform, uh, sorry, also the program um, contributed meaningfully to attract new users and activate low shopping frequency users. 那第二呢？针对开放生态，我们更关心关心商家和商品的丰富度，然后那还有商家运营的效率。那从年初以来呢，我们简化了这个商家的入驻的流程，然后也加大对商家的扶持力度，包括啊、呃、降低运营成本，提供更多的运营工具，以及更加清晰的运营规则等。那新增商家数也高速增长 ，Q2 商家数实现同比超过三位数的增长。那通过丰富的商家和商品供给，满足不同用户的多元化需求，这也是接下来我们收入和利润持续提升的重要增长驱动力。Secondly, in terms of our open ecosystem, we place significant emphasis on the diversity of merchants and products, as well as merchants' operating efficiency on our platform. Since the start of the year, we have simplified the joining procedures for merchants and increased our supporting measures for them, such as lowering their operating costs, providing more operating tools, and setting up clear guidelines for merchants, etc. As a result, we have witnessed a rapid growth in the number of new merchants joining our platform and recorded a three-digit year-on-year increase in merchant base in Q2. By enriching our pool of merchants and expanding our product offerings, we are better able to meet the diverse shopping demands of our users. This will serve as a key driver 
for the future revenue and profit growth. 那第三呢，就是在供应链能力的提升上，那最直接体现在推进低价新制的同时，我们还为消费者提供优秀的服务。那这从我们的核心优势品类持续的获取市场份额上可以得到证明。那同时呢，供应链能力也帮助我们的履约毛利率在持续的提升。Thirdly, we've been taking efforts to enhance supply chain capabilities. A direct reflection reflection is that we are able to continue to provide high quality services to our users while promoting the strategy for price competitiveness. This is also demonstrated by our further market share gain in our core categories. At the same time, our supply chain capabilities also help us to deliver consistent growth. In our fulfillment growth margin. 那如我们之前呃讨论过，那我们今年所有的 strategy 最整体上最重要的 KPI 还是会回归到 GMV 利润和现金流啊。So I just want to add that as、uh, so、we previously shared. So for this year, our focus of KPIs uh, will um, be focused on our GMV, profitability, and cash flow. Thanks. Um, 那谢谢。第三个问题是，呃、um, ，呃，那如三 D 开场简阳里所分享，那目前宏观和行业环境，呃，存在较多不确定性。但是呢，我们看到自身业务的健康度在提升，然后我们会坚定执行我们的长期战略，然后有信心我们的核心业务保持稳健的增长势头。And your last question regarding、uh, the outlook of the second half of the year, as、uh, Sandy、uh, shared earlier,、um, despite of uncertainties from the macroeconomic and industrial environment, our business has continued to demonstrate healthy improvement. We will remain committed to our long-term strategies and are confident that our core business growth will maintain robust momentum. Thank you.、Um, thank you, Ronald. Next question, please. The next question comes from Thomas Chong with Jefferies. Please go ahead. 晚上好，谢谢三弟总演说啊，介绍我的提问啊。Uh, 我的问题是关于我们 VP 啊、uh, 的战略的。呃，关令成可以分享一下我们啊、uh, 未来啊、uh, 对 VP 的啊、uh, GMV 啊、uh, 占比的看法，还有未来的展望。啊，另外一个问题呢，啊，我们也提到啊，在商家数量方面呢，有一个很快速的一个增长。啊，另外的啊，想问一下，我们怎么看我们品类扩张的一个最新的一个 update？ 啊，可以分享一下吗？啊 ，Thanks management for taking my questions. Ah,、uh, my first question is about our three P ah、uh, strategies as well as the GMV contribution in future. And my second question. Is about our category expansion、uh, strategies.、Uh, can management share the latest、uh, updates?、Uh, given we are seeing a very、uh, fast growth in the number of merchants. Thank you. Okay. 嗯、um, ，那先回答商家数量。那在具体的这个商家还有品类，那具体的举措上面呢，那分三个大的环节。呃、嗯，第一呢，入驻。那在商家入驻这边，我们会加大我们对商家的这个招商的力度，然后那降低平台的准入门槛。然后同时呢，我们会大幅简化我们的入驻和我们的发品的流程，那降低商家固定性的这个成本的支出。And so first, I will share um uh uh answer your questions on the users uh, uh recruitment. So there are several um、uh, me- uh, measures. So first of all, we will um expand our um efforts in attracting um merchants. And also lower lower the barriers and making it more、uh, streamlined to、um, welcome our platform and streamline the processes and also、uh, bring down、um, the、uh, fixed costs for the merchants、uh, for the merchants to operate on our platform. 
。那在运营上呢，我们会推动平台上各主体的公平竞争。那这个包括自营和 POP 之间，那也包括 POP 商家之间的这个竞争。那最重要的还是明确我们平台的价值主张，并且在流量端应用，呃。同时向商家进行有效的宣传，然后打造商家在京东平台的清晰的成长的路径。And secondly, on the merchant's operating side, we will、uh, foster a fair environment for everyone to compete on our platform. This competition is not only between our 1P and、uh, our 3P merchants, but also among our POP merchants. So we will make a very clear、uh, growth path for the merchants to grow their、uh, business on our platform, which is in line with our value propositions and、um, do、um, adequate publicity and.、Uh, Um, uh, the promotions among our merchants. 那在工具环节，我们会持续的优化商家的运营工具，然后提供更完善的数据支持，然后那帮家商家提升这个运营能力，然后经营效率以及盈利。And also, we will provide sufficient tools to support our merchants to operate on the platform, including the data support. And also、um, the cultivations of our their、um, skills to operate at on JD's platform to improve their operating efficiency. 呃，那结果呢？那之前也提过，我就不再呃赘述。那 Q2 呢，有效商家数就实现了同比三位数的增长。那特别是在商超、时尚还有居家等品类的 POP 商家数同比都实现了大幅的增长。那三 P 收入增速也达到了双位数，连续多个季度超过一 P 的收入增速。Yeah, as to the achievements for this quarter,、uh, I just mentioned. Uh, earlier, that uh, um, the overall number of merchants、uh, in Q2 grew by three、uh, digits, and especially we see the increasing number of merchants from the categories of supermarket, fashion, home goods, etc. And、uh, their 3P revenues is also grow at a, a double digits rate, which are all higher than the 1P revenue. Um. 对于三 P 的展望，那还是想强调一下，就是那整体上 One P 三 P 都是服务于我们以消费者为中心的价值主张，然后即多快好省。那目标呢，还是获取更多的钱包份额。So for the outlook of our、uh, 3P business, so overall we want just want to reiterate that、uh, both 1P and the third P were developing to、uh, be aligned with our consumer-centric value proposition, which is superior selection, speed, quality, and value, and with the ultimate goal for,、uh, to increase their、um, wallet share on JD.com. 那我们会平衡成本效率体验，那由消费者基于产品价格服务来选择一 P 或者三 P 的商品，呃，满足消费者多元化的这个需求。那我们预计在一个相当长的时间之内，我们的三 P 最终形态会达到一个百分之六十的 GMV 占比。So we will、uh, do our best to strike a balance. Between cost efficiency and consumer experience, so、uh, to allow to allow our users to、uh, choose between our 1P offering and the third、uh, 3P offerings based on the product, price, services. So to do our best to cater to the diversified needs of different users. So our long-term objective for our 3P is to have its proportion of GMV account for about 60% of the overall JD platform. 好的，那我来补充一下品类维度的情况啊。那首先在下半年或者说三季度啊，的确我们还是会面对消费相对呃比较这个恢复需要一段时间吧。然后另外呢，就是今年也有高温季错配的情况，还有就是手机的新机的发售节奏啊、呃、也存在一定的不确定性。那这些宏观和行业的因素其实都会影响我们三季度以及下半年的业绩表现。那我们也相信，在这样的环境下呢，京东的供应链能力也会得到进一步的释放。那我们的运营韧性也会更强，所以我们还是有信心，包括家电、手机等等在内的带电品类或者说优势品类，依旧会保持行业领先的优势，好于行业的表现。
And also, we would like to share uh, more about uh, where the cat uh, on the category side, as we see uh, the economy recovery is still um, in ongoing uh, situations and affected on the mismatches of the high temperatures and uh, the, the different time scheduling of the cell phones, etc. However, it is important to note that uh, the overall performance in Q3 is not only influenced by um, the macro environment consumption trends, but um, also these kind of uh, seasonalities. And um, additionally, there are ongoing efforts from our proactive efforts to uh, further optimize our business structure. Nevertheless, overall, we are confident in the development momentum and uh, improvement of the health of our business. Mm -hmm. 啊，刚刚也提到，我们预期商超品类在下半年的增速呢会有起色，逐步向好，会比上半年要表现更好。而且经过这个过去对商超业务的经营质量的聚焦，啊，包括我们对商超品类规划管理和渠道结构的优化，运营能力也进一步得到了提升。那么商超整体的盈利情况也将继续改善。那么长期看，我们对商超还是有信心的。And as mentioned earlier, uh, for uh, we expect for the uh, supermarket category um, to show an improving trend with better growth rate uh, in the second half of the year compared with the first half. Um, with our uh, dedicated focus on enhancing the operational quality of this category, such as optimizing product category mix, improving sales channel structures, and enhancing operational capabilities, um, we are confident to see positive profitability trend of the supermarket category. Um, long term speaking, supermarket category remains one of the key drivers of our growth. Uh, uh, in the fashion category, we remain committed to expanding brands and merchants, enriching product offerings, optimizing the category structure and traffic allocation. Um, by focusing on these key areas, we aim to maintain an improving growth trajectory of the fashion uh, category. Um, thank you. Uh, let's take the next question, please. The next question comes from Alicia Yap with Citigroup. Please go ahead. Um, hello, uh, 晚上好,管理层, 谢谢接受我的提问. Um, 我想就是管理层 能跟我们分享一下, 就是我们如何评价 uh, uh, 京东对上半年和618 促销活动的一些执行绩效, uh, 在多方面的一些调整中, uh, 管理层认为京东在哪些方面达到了最初的一些预期, 哪些方面京东还需要 改进或者是需要一些修改当初的一些策略才让我们达到我们想要的一些业绩我自己翻译一下 uh, 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 With the first half and the 618 promotion event behind us um, Can management share with us how do you rate your uh, own execution performance so far year to date? Uh, which areas you believe um, JD has met your initial expectation? in which areas uh, JD still need to improve or need to modify initial strategy to achieve the performance that you want. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Alicia. Um, actually,刚才也讲过,就是我们今年这个上半年主要推动的几个项目,包括平台生态等等,其实都还是取得了一些阶段性的成绩。那么其实我们也看到在用户方面今年我们主动调整价格策略提升用户体验的一系列动作的稳固落地也让消费者有了很明显的感知取得的效果是好于预期的但是呢这个同时虽然大促的效果这个增速超过预期其实它也从侧面
Um, so on the user side, we've uh, steadily implemented a series of actions to further optimize our price strategies and enhance user experience, which has been well received by consumers exceed, exceeding our expectations. Whereas with the success of the, the grant promotion, it also like indirectly proves that users still have a very strong mentality towards promotions, which also means that it takes a relatively long period of time for users to change their mindset. Therefore, um, our commitment to promoting the everyday low price daily sales model needs time and dedication. 对，另外呢，在平台这个商家商家这个生态的繁荣方面，其实整个生态的繁荣也是需要时间去积累的。那么流量分发机制和规则也是要逐步的去调整。所以虽然在目前为止招商呃和商家入驻取得了很好的进展，那么接下来我们在平台的运营规则、流量的分发算法机制方面，还是有很大的改善空间。And on the、uh, merchant acquisition part. It also takes time for the marketplace ecosystem to flourish. And although we have made good progress in attracting merchants, there's still significant room for improvement in platform operations and traffic allocation mechanism, etc. Okay, thank you, Alicia.、Uh, let's take the next question, please. The next question comes from Eddie Wong with Morgan Stanley. Please go ahead. 哎 ，Sandy 总，叶啊，帅，感谢接受我的提问。呃，我这边有一条问题是关于这个新业务的，因为我们看到这个也有传闻说，呃，我们可能会呃频频呃重新要开始做，但是如果你看二季度整个的这个新业务的减亏啊、呃，这个力度是也是非常大的，所以我想问一下，就是呃从公司角度来说，未来十二到十八个月，我们在新业务上的这个重点会是在哪些？Uh, well, what did he find you, sir?、Uh, thank you, management,、uh, for taking my question.、Uh, my question is on the new business.、Uh, we have heard some、uh, news flow、uh, talking about we will uh, uh, refocus on Ping Ping、uh, business. Uh, but uh, if you look at the second quarter, the、uh, narrow loss of the new business actually has been quite significant. So, just want to ask, what's our focus of the new business in the next 12 to 18 months? Thank you. 啊，谢谢 ID 的问题。啊，那我们的就整个，其实京东的战略重点或者说业务重点一直都是比较聚焦的。那我们始终都聚焦在供应链能力的提升，啊，开放生态建设，然后还有即时零售等等这些长期能力的打造上面。啊、呃，那在这里面呢，即时零售也包括近期升级的小时大业务，是我们目前对新零售业态最主要的策略之一。而创新零售业务，包括拼拼、前置仓、七鲜等业务的整合，啊、呃，更多的呢是推动他们在供应链端的协同。目前其实，呃，这些业务基本上都还处于试点阶段，更多的是在探索模式、跑通模式。探索我们这几条业务条件供应链协同可以产生更大 synergy 的这个方式吧。那么，呃，即使在一些市场或者说城市这个模式得到验证，其实也是需要一个城市一个城市的推进。所以，呃，大家不用太担心，整体的投入力度还是可控的，也不会影响我们对全年利润或者说盈利趋势的预判。Um, thank you, Eddie.、Um, our primary focus remains on enhancing our supply chain capabilities, establishing an open ecosystem, and developing on-demand retail and other long-term capabilities. On-demand retail includes our recently updated Shop Now service, which is a key component of our new retail strategy. Our innovative retail business integrates our、uh, Ping Ping Community Group buying business. Uh, distributed warehousing and Seven Fresh.、Um, its main purpose is to create synergies within our supply chain operations. Currently,、uh, we are in the experimental phase, testing different models to enhance synergies in supply chain and to generate a higher revenue to meet customers' demands and improve their shopping experience. Um, even when the business model、uh, proves viable in certain market, we still will take a step-by-step -step approach and、um, to、uh, test it、uh, city by city. So the overall the investment is manageable. It won't affect our expectations for the full year profitability. 
Yeah, I think the English should be uh, to generate higher synergy instead of higher revenue. So yes. scale is not our uh, top uh, priority for these new businesses at this stage. Thank you, Sandy, for that. Thank you, Andy. Um, okay, let's uh, um, take the last question, please. And that question comes from Kenneth Fung with Credit Suisse. Please go ahead. Hi, uh, thank you for answering my question. I have two questions. The first one is regarding the fact 第二个问题就是我也看到我们重启这个社区传扣也知道我们是现在一个阶段性的尝试可以分享一下我们现在投入的策略和基前惊喜有什么改变呢我继续翻译一下 uh, thank you, management, for taking my questions. Uh, uh, my first question is that we noticed that the e-commerce platforms are increasingly use low price strategy as a key focus and a key initiative. Uh, users are more frequent to compare prices among different platforms, and platforms are also becoming more commoditized and similar. Uh, how would JD differentiate going forward, and how should we think about the development for the overall uh, China e-commerce uh, industry going forward? And my second question is that uh, we noticed that we are re-entering the community group churches. Uh, can you share with us a strategy and how it would differ from Jingxi that we um, it invested before? Thank you. How does this is a Tongzhua 还有稳定的商品供给因为我们对自己的供应链能力以及我们自营的规模优势所带来的低成本和优质服务是非常有信心的 so thank you, Kenny. Um, at JD.com, we have constantly focused on strengthening our differentiated competitiveness. So our um, core advantage is lies in our supply chain-based business model by continuously developing our uh, capabilities on supply chain and user experience we can guarantee high quality, low price, and uh, reliable product supplies. Um, and also we can effectively matching products with our users, creating a superior shopping experience and further building users' trust in GD.com. And we also want to reiterate that for not only e-commerce, but all the retailers from day one of our existence, um, our core competitiveness is or the essence of our business, it's the low price. So that's why we have always anchored on our business philosophy, cost efficiency, and customer experience. So in fact, actually, we, we very welcome, and we're looking forward to, um, to welcome our users to compare prices across platforms before they make um, the, um, place to order decisions, as we are very confident in our supply chain capabilities and the low price and high quality services we can provide um, based on our distinct 1P uh, services, which benefit from our um, scale advantages. 对,就像我开场讲过,围绕多块好省的用户心智,一方面呢,京东将继续加强和巩固我们自己的优势,继续发挥并且加强我们在快和好方面的体验,不断加强用户的信赖。那另外一方面,我们也会逐步补齐我们
so as I introduced um, earlier that um, we uh, continue to focus on strengthen users' mind share towards our superior selection, speed, quality, and value offering. So now we, uh, we want to leverage our established advantages in speed and quality, while at the same time we continuously working on expanding our uh, platform ecosystem by attracting more merchants and enhancing its um, diversity and richness. This will enable us to cater to more verified demands of our uh, users to work on more on the selection and value part. 同时在这个过程中我们也做了很多工作来保证和提升用户体验那第三呢，在平台运营和流量分发上，强调产品价格服务的核心标准。So um, uh, at the same time, we have made significant efforts to ensure and improve the user experience, including first maintaining efficient management for merchant entry and product management, and secondly, continuously enhancing the scale effect of our one business to drive down procurement costs and pass on the benefits to users. In the meantime, raising the standards of our 1P services to ensure the best user experience. And lastly, emphasizing on the core um, criteria of product, price, and service in our platform operation. Yeah. 那关于社区团购业务的问题呢优异目前拼拼业务还是在小范围试点继续去跑通模式验证模式的过程中整体的投入是相对可控的 as regards to Pinpin, uh, we have mentioned previously our uh, community group buying business and its team have maintained its presence throughout following our business optimization last year Pinpin has shifted its focus to Beijing and the surrounding regions the team is now exploring the local short chain supply chain model, especially on fresh products, refining its product offerings, enhancing user experience, optimizing business processes, and improving its um, UE. Currently, uh, Pinpin is conducting small scale pilots to test this model, and the overall investment is manageable. Um, thank you. Um, Thank you, Kenny. We are now approaching the end of the conference call. I will now turn the call over to JD.com's Sean Jung for closing remarks. Um, thank you for joining us uh, on a call today and for your questions. If you have further questions, please contact me and our team. We appreciate your interest in JD.com and look forward to talking to you again next quarter. Thank you. Thank you for your participation in today's conference. This concludes the presentation. You may now disconnect. Good day, good evening.